spoon spectrum. If your mashed potatoes are too dry, too wet, overmixed, or lumpy, hey, look at that. See all those different kinds of mashed potatoes? But if you wish they were perfect potatoes, well, you're gonna wanna pay attention because Vanessa Williams is about to show us her ultimate loaded mashed potatoes. They're the perfect side for your chicken dinner. Vanessa, dish the details. <laughs> Okay, these are the ultimate loaded mashed potatoes, and it's Thanksgiving time coming up, and this is my family's favorite. I do it hey. every year, and they're garlic mashed potatoes with truffle salt. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Easy breezy, but nice. always, always wow. good. All right. So we've cooked our potatoes over here. Now we're now ricing the potatoes, as, as you can see, Dr. Oz is ricing over there. Yeah. Uh, if you, if this is a fancy show, so we're ricing. Normally, I cut them up and mash them by myself. I gotta tell you, they ask all the time. They're like, what? You know, what's why ricing? Well, mm -hmm. why ricing? But what's one kitchen gadget you can't live without? And this is one. This does get you those light, airy, perfectly yes. smooth potatoes. Right. I have to say. Yeah. They, they keeps the starch granules intact. Apparently, that's mm -hmm. the scientific. Yeah. And, and they keep them light and airy. Go on, Bill Nye. Yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Google. a good tip uh, is using hot cream. Mm -hmm. Now, I always thought it was cold cream and hot butter. Flip mm -hmm. it. So use hot cream, and we're putting it in right here. We got some more. Uh, uh, uh. And now we have cold, <laughs> cold butter. butter. Yes. Mm -hmm. My oh, hands. Get it in. Thank gotcha, you. Gotcha. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, I use my hands a lot. Hey. Uh, so the melted butter is, is going to melt inside, but it doesn't separate, and it makes it really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't want to see oh the butter separating on oh. the top is kind of floating. Right. That's when like an oil slick. There you mm -hmm. go. That's why That's you use the cold oil. butter to coat. Exactly. Go in there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Now also, now this is the regular um, garlic from a jar. You okay, know, the jarred garlic, minced garlic. Yeah, minced garlic, and it's mm -hmm. easy, and it's already chopped up for you, and your hands don't stink when you're making <laughs> a zillion things. <laughs> right, you can smell that right there. Is this the hot? Oh, it just hit that hot butter. Oh, oh my goodness. And then I found a great truffle salt when I was uh, skiing in, in Breckenridge, Colorado, and I use it on everything, popcorn. But this Ooh. is my garlic mashed potatoes mm. with truffle salt. So oh my good. God. Isn't and that delicious? Is, that is a puffle, can, truffle can, punch in the mouth. Well, I love that. <laughs> in a good way. We have to yes. say, though, because people hear truffles, they're like, oh, it's going to be expensive. It's a lot. That yeah. jar of truffle salt carries you so far. You get $500 worth of truffle flavor for, for the price of a latte. Yeah. It's really, it goes a long way here. And yum, I definitely yum, yum. get it, too. It's nice, good. hearty, delicious. And then we've got our own mashed potato bar. We've got Wait, i got to try it hot right yes. this, because I just I have to vouch for you all. <laughs> Do you want to see? We have cheese. Try, try the truffle salt. Oh, I'm telling you, it Isn't is good intense. though. Just oh, yeah, and so the garlic, good. that little hint of garlic, I know. and it makes me really happy oh that you're God. like, I'm gonna make it's the whole so thing from scratch, but you can still use the minced garlic <laughs> exactly. from the jar. Don't don't go crazy. Very nice. Exactly. Don't That's worry, you guys. Oh, this, this special formula impressive. that Vanessa just shared, we are of course going to share it on the dish on Oz Instagram yes, and on DrOz.com. Mm. So now here's my question. This tastes like comfort food to me, and of course yes. it's perfect for the holidays coming up. Is this the kind of thing you eat before a performance, or is there like some oh, good no. luck food you eat? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm singing and dancing, so I keep it light. Usually some soup or maybe some crackers and some dip or something. But one time uh, I was on the way to the theater, had a matinee, and uh, driving in from Westchester to Manhattan, and there was a hot dog stand on the side of the road. I said, oh, just can you pull over quick so I can just grab a hot dog. But of course, my favorite was a sauerkraut and mustard. Yeah. Eat it, get dressed, oh. and at this time I'm doing Kiss of the Spider Woman, which is basically body suits, yes. feathers. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, wow. Amazing. And I was wow. just gonna ask you what's your favorite role, because I still have the playbill from that movie. Do you from really? That you play? Really? Girl, well. your body was over. Well. I'm not yeah. going to yeah. though. Yeah. I would not recommend having a hot dog before well, you get into no a hot dog. What yes. happened? <laughs> well, the stomach started grumbling. I was like, oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, it's a rumble in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I made it to the show, but I'll never do it again. Oh. There you go. She's a lady. Oh, She's amazing. a lady. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to taste that. And so you make this whole cute bar. That's I like this too. That's this is a nice thing for the at the holidays. I'm too. done ricing the potatoes. Oh, uh, where you come from? Come on. <laughs> I've been working the whole time. You guys are talking about Broadway shows here. Oh, okay. No, go for the good ones. Let me go for the good ones. Mm -hmm. Try. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, taste it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that's good. Listen, in honor of having bona fide Broadway star making potatoes on the dish, I had an idea. What if the leads of all these wonderful plays were played by potatoes? Okay. This is my top five list. Are you ready? Oh, boy. Whoa, top five ready? list of Broadway okay. shows. Again, the leads are potatoes. There's Phantom of the Tatara. Uh, See what I did there? Uh, right. Okay. Not your best work. It's getting better. It's getting better. How to succeed in business without really frying. Oh, 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 oh,
Good, that's it. You're a good man, Hash Brown. Ah. <laughs> I love a good pun. But these are my favorites. Are you ready? Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Oklahoma Fry. <laughs> but the winner by far, okay. you're all going to love this, Yamilton. Ah. It's your heart out, David Yamilton. <laughs> In it out. Put the recipe for Vanessa's perfect loaded mashed potatoes on DrOz.com and of uh, DrOz.com slash the dish. We're one step closer to our perfect chicken dinner, but we can't forget about those greens when we get back. Jamika is making her cream spinach. Mm -hmm. It is so indulgent. Yes. You need to make it. And she's dressed in green. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.